Good evening, Mrs. Boscat's class, room 32. My name is Matt Medeiros. This is Matthew Medeiros Jr. Say hi. Hi. And this is Lauren Eden. Ms. Boscat sent us your questions and we're going to answer them for you. First question comes from Kenzie. What inspired you to do Nanya Beeswax, Rhode Island? I went to a beekeeping seminar for veterans at Rhode Island College. Since then, I have always loved learning about bees. Why did you decide to do Nanya Beeswax? We decided to do it to help the environment and to have something for our family that we can do together. Jackson said, are you scared? The answer is, I'm not. Come relax most of the time. Do you make a lot of honey? Sometimes a hive can make 80 to 100 pounds of honey. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a bee suit for protection. Emily asked, how do you have a beehive? How do you make? How, yeah, how do you make a beehive? Sorry. And we answered <coughs> our hives we bought from bee supply stores. She also asked, is it hard to take care of your bees? We answered, it isn't hard, but it can be challenging because no two hives are alike. She also asked, can you paint the beehives? And we answered, you can paint them, just the outside though. Bees like a clean hive inside. Ryan asked, are you afraid to begin, begin and, are you afraid of to being stung by the bees? I'm only afraid to get stung in the head. That one hurts. Like what happened to Matthew? Lilith asks, why do you put the queen in your pocket when you take her out of the box? It was cold that day, so we wanted to keep her warm. Why do you have to dump the bees into a different box? We dump the bees into the box because that's their hive and that's going to be their home. Can't you just take them out and put them in like you did with the queen? There are 10,000 bees in that box. That would take a very long time. Cameron asked me, when you first started with the bees, were you ever scared that you might get stung? And I answered, it took some getting used to, but spiders are a different story. True story. Next one, George. Yeah. Okay. Angelica asked, what do you do in your class? And we answered, you learn how to take care for, for the bees and what their biggest threats are. No question. Okay. She also asked, what projects do you do? We answered, there are no projects, just cool YouTube videos and PowerPoints. Annabelle asked, nice to meet you. How many bees are there? The question is, 10,000 bees, three pounds. Aubrey asked, is this a tutorial? It is not. This is my first year, this is all our first years of, of being beekeepers. Miss Bosquette thought you guys and gals would enjoy seeing us doing this. Why did they not sting you? I bet they were trying to sting me, but the bee suit was very good protection. Ethan asked, what do you use sugar water for? The sugar water gives them energy to build, build comb. How do you how do you know which bee is the queen? The queen has a long back half, basically a long, the longest butt. <laughs> Chase asked, "How do you not get stung? My suit protects me from getting stung." He also asked, how much honey do you get in one collection? Each hive could produce 80 to 100 pounds of honey. He also asked, can I have some honey? 
Sure thing, buddy. Us Madeiras guys stick together. <laughs> Madison asked, where can you get the bees? Um, I just got a voice character. Madison asked, where can you get the bees? Outfit and all the other stuff you need for the bees. And we answered, some, some stuff we got from Amazon and some from the local bee supply store. Ari asked a lot, <laughs> is it easy? It can be challenging but rewarding. Do you enjoy it? We do enjoy it and it's relaxing. Do you have any other pets? We do have a, another pet. Her name is Tinkerbell and she is our dog. And this is Thank what she you. looks like. Is it expensive? The startup was expensive, but once you get started up, it's just little things here and there. How much time do you spend on your bees per day? We spend about two hours once a week on all four of our hives. How do, your, how do you get your pollen? We don't get the pollen, the bees get the pollen, and they bring it to the hive and put it in the cones. Different flowers can produce different colors. They also have these things on their back that hold the pollen and they okay. When you see a bee with pollen on the legs, they call it pocketbooks. <laughs> Did you just start working with bees? This is our first year being beekeepers. Was it confusing when you first started? It was confusing and there's a lot to learn. Did you ever get stung by a bee? I have a few times and I'm sure there'll be more. Connor asks, how many bees do you have? We have four hives. Three hives have about 10,000 bees in them, and our big one has about 40,000 bees in it. Last but not least, Austin asked, why do you have the queen bee in the box and not the other bees? We answered, the bees have to get used to her scent. They have to accept her as their queen. That's all for today. That's all the questions we have for room 32. There's a new video out this week in your class. Feel free to ask any questions you, you have. Thank you and have a good night.